welcome back to the channel everyone we're gonna go over the dust rock blues primary shotgun quite possibly the best primary shotgun that you can get if you have the right roll with it now in this video I'm gonna show you the fastest way to farm it that you can just get it over and over and over and until you get the right roll that you want now you want to start in on the EDZ and the winding cove and then you want to head over to the firebase haze uh, lost sector now it's important to note that this gun does drop upon killing the mini boss in the lost sector so what you want to do is you go to firebase haze and then you go to the pathfinders crash now what you want to do is you're going to run in you're going to kill the boss and then you're going to turn around and run back out until you see the firebase haze back on the bottom left corner of your screen and then you're going to turn around again run right back in and kill him again. Now once you get in here you want to kill a couple ads and the ads will trigger the drop ship that dropped the uh, mini boss and after that you just want to kill him as fast as you can as soon as he dies you can turn around and run back out. Uh, the first time I get here I usually kill everything in here to try to farm out some heavy ammo or some special ammo drops you know whatever I can get now I would say the fastest way to kill him would be if you have the Whisper of the Worm and you don't miss like I did there. It only takes six shots if you get one of the deep breathing hits on him. Now you don't have to be using the Whisper. Uh, you can super him. You could just run up with the Escalation Protocol shotgun. You know, whatever you want to do. Just kill him as fast as you can. There's, there's multiple ways. There's no right or wrong way. Just get in there and kill him. Now, I did this earlier with a buddy, and we actually found out the faster you kill him, the less of the chance you had to drop. Uh, we were going in and we were killing him almost immediately, and we weren't getting any drops. And then we were just kind of messing around, trying out different things to kill him. And the slower we got, he actually started dropping more items for us. So I'm going to leave that up to you guys how you want to do it. Go in, you can use your whisper, kill him as fast as you can, or you go in and clear some ads and kill him a little bit slower and see how the drop rate goes for you guys. But like I said before, once you kill him, you're gonna turn around, you're gonna run back out. As soon as you jump up on this ledge here. You're going to see on the bottom left corner the firebase haids. As soon as you see that, you can turn around, run back in, and they'll all spawn back in. Now, I'm going to note that you do not want to grab that chest when you're in here doing this. You want to leave that chest alone, or else you might have to wait, you know, 15 minutes or whatever for the uh, lost sector to reset for you. Again, in this video here, I was going slower, I was killing the ads and seeing if I get more drops doing it that way again and of course the second time I did it I did get a drop now depending on the perks that you get on your gun are going to depend on how good it is for you you know there's a lot of perks out there that are better than others and there's certain things you want to look for to get and I'll go over those here in a second but before I get into those guys if this video helps you out in any way feel free to go ahead and comment down below make sure you give it a thumbs up and newcomers to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more D2 content like this there's guys as you can see I killed all the ads Took a little bit more time to do it, but there is my dust rock drop. Now you can do this as long as you want, as long as you don't grab that chest after you kill him. You know, just kill him, turn around, run out, run back in, kill him again, and just keep doing it for as long as your heart desires. Okay guys, now here is the perk tree that you can get with the dust rock blues. Now you, the first column you can get rifled barrel, smooth bore, small bore, barrel shroud, corkscrew rifling, and full choke. Now the perk you want for this would be full choke, give you the most range. Now for the second, <coughs> you got assault mag, a 
independent mag, tactical mag, extended mag, steady rounds, accurized rounds, and light mag. Now for the second tree, you want to go for accurized rounds, which again will maximize your range. Then you have slide shot, threat detector, field prep, moving target, and pulse monitor. Now in this this tier, you want to get slide shot. Again, sliding, maximizing that range. Now for the third, you have rampage, grave robber, snapshot sights, full auto trigger system, which is pointless for a shotgun, doesn't make it shoot any faster or anything like that, it's just a pointless perk. Auto loading holster. Now for this one, I would say you either want snapshot sights or possibly rampage for killing multiple enemies. Say if you have two guys in crucible, you know, you kill the first one and it's always going to increase your damage on that second one, making it easier to kill them. So I'd go for either rampage or snapshots. I'd saying snapshot sites would probably be the best you know the faster you pull it up the faster you get that shot out you know possibly beating the other guy with the shotgun well that's it for this video guys i hope it helped you out be sure to go ahead and hit that like button and newcomers make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more d2 content like this